We are Workforce Alpha, and we help the industrial workforce achieve more. The perfect shift start huddle is the hallmark of a high-performing organization, because it's hard to have a great day if you don't also have a great start. Having the discussion to start the day sets the tone for performance, creates alignment on goals, drives accountability and transparency in your front line, which all leads to higher performance through motivation in your front line, empowerment with your people, and a clear understanding of what's needed by the business. First ingredient of the perfect shift start huddle is the right place. The perfect place is close to the work site to cut down on travel and also maintain focus on the areas that matter most. However, you also want to be free of distractions that will take away from the focus of the agenda and the discussion items at hand. You want to be able to display visuals and charts so that people can understand the facts and the trends and also document any actions or commitments made in the discussion. And you want to be standing room only so your team is alert and on their feet, not relaxed and kicked back. Next, you need to have the right people. First and most importantly is the front line. Their attendance should be required and any absence should be pre-approved by a supervisor. They are active participants in this discussion and the meeting is for their benefit, so they need to attend and they need to be involved. Next, the supervisor runs the meeting and sets the tone for performance. His or her job is to keep the front line engaged and keep the discussion on point. Lastly, a higher level manager should attend once or twice a week and be just a listener and observer. Their presence shows that they care about this discussion and it adds importance to the meeting. Next, you need to have the right agenda. The right agenda should cover the four main areas that lead to good and safe performance. First, safety. Spend a few minutes every day talking about some new element or perspective on safety. Perhaps have someone share a learning or observation they had from the prior day that will make the workplace safer. Next, you want to talk about past performance. How are you tracking year, month, or week to date, and how is that going against your goals? Next, talk about upcoming targets. What are we trying to achieve today, or this week, or this month? And what do we need to do to get there? That discussion will also lead to clear actions and commitments from the team that they will commit to to help hit the targets and perform better today than they did yesterday. You also want to be sure that you have the facilities and resources to display any kinds of facts, metrics, or charts, as well as keep track of actions and commitments made during the meeting so you can follow up on them in tomorrow's discussion. Lastly, underlying this entire discussion is the right tone for performance. The right tone for performance is a delicate balance between comfort and normalcy and challenge, change, and improvement. Comfort and normalcy is what leads to the status quo, but challenge, change, and improvement is what leads to step changes in business outcomes. You want to strike the right balance such that people feel slightly uneasy in knowing that they always need to improve but not push so hard that it's an unachievable or unreasonable goal. This is the healthy tension that you should have underneath every performance discussion with your team. So, if you have the right place, if you have the right people, and you have the right agenda, all driven by a tone for performance in the discussion, then you'll see the performance outcomes that you want stemming from the perfect shift start huddle. To learn more, visit www.workforcealpha.com or email us.